The TLX Phoenix just got a big update. Now there's three more versions to choose. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we got 14 mods for you. For all platforms we have 7 new and 4 updates. For console only we have 1 new and 1 update. And PC and Mac we have 1 new. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have something that's actually in the wrong place. Don't go looking in cars for this first mod. This is the A5000 pack and it ain't in there this is gonna be in semi trucks for some crazy reason gotta love it it's monday it's this is what happens on monday so you're gonna go in here and you're gonna find these bad boys right here these are going to be two different versions you have a longer bed version which works with some attachments and then you have a short bed version which works with its own attachments these attachments do come with the pack so let's take a look starting off with the 5000 we have rim color we have standard and then basically all of the base game colors, main colors through here. You got a couple different ones as well. Original color one through whatever, 20 something. So you just got numbers there, no color options. And then in design color, similar story through here as well. It's gonna be your bumper looks like designs. We have no and yes. So it looks like we have some lights on the top, auxiliary headlights, no and yes. Got a couple different ones through there. We'll set up so you can do a white wall. These look, don't look too bad. I do like those. Glass, no and yes. So that's going to basically be uh, light, medium, and dark. Uh, they are a little funky. I'm not sure what's going on through there. And then that's all you got there. Then we have the 5500. Similar customization options through here. And then we've got, well, basically literally the same color options. So you got that. But that's not all. For this version of the truck, the smaller version, we have a bodywork option for a tipper. So this is gonna be a tipper that goes on the back, 10,000 liter capacity, which is a lot. Uh, might be a little bit heavy for that truck, just a heads up. And then you've got all the same body colors that you did for the truck itself. Also for the smaller version, the 5,000, we have the fuel tank. This is gonna hold 5,000 liters and it's going to hold only fuel the large version comes with a few different things including the liquid tank this is going to hold 7,000 liters of milk and water we also have the bolt carrier this is going to hold 16,000 liters of everything we also have this in a dry cargo version as well now one of the annoying things is this is actually showing up as a different body however these two are in the same uh, container so there's not actually like quote unquote six different bodies that comes with this it's only five one of them can be changed up and then you have the livestock trailer this is going to hold six cows six horses 12 pigs or 12 sheep your next new mod for all platforms today is a crazy one this is the jcb 4220 pack we've got four different things with this of course the first one we have the 4220 we also have a 4220 in a skid version as well so you can take this around that's something similar to this in farming simulator 17 which is really cool and very popular but we just kind of wanted it without the arm well now we've got it this may just look normal but don't worry we're gonna take them out and turn it up to wild with a tail monster and a handful of reese caps yeah this is insane let's take a look rim color all of those all of those well, crazy blue reels? You got it. You want some neon green? Sure, you got it. All of the above, you got it. We're just gonna take it back to JCB. Main color, same thing through here. You could finally take your JCB and change it up to literally whatever color you want. I know these gray JCBs are extremely popular, so why don't we leave that there and take the wheels and make those black? There you go. That's beautiful, actually. Wheel brands, we have trail board. Michelin tires, Midas tires, Nokian. We also have the all fossil tires and back to trailer board. In here we have a standard, we have a wide tire, we have extra wides. Yes, chonky boys. We've also got twin wheels, narrow tires, and then we've got some special tires. We have the 40 or 422 SB710s, the 910s, 710s in the, 10s, 7 in the uh, chonkers and then back and forth these are gonna be real popular i think this mod in general is gonna be very popular in michelin tires we have a couple different ones through here just uh basically standard wide and widers midas standard and chonks and then in nokian we have a standard tire we have a wide tire back and forth between those in all phosphorus we have a couple different chain options through there just the two 
I'm gonna go back to this because that's crazy. Design, we have the fast track design. We have the MB track design. Oh yeah, that's in there. Back and forth between those. Fenders on the back, we have yes or no. You could just remove sans fenders if you would like. <laughs> it's different. Let's leave those off. Trailer hitches, we have standard. We have with gooseneck, so that could work with a couple different gooseneck trailers. Back and forth between those. Front loader attacher, yes or no. We do have front loader on here. Front fender, let's see, we're well, showing yes or no. Looks like, uh, let's see, huh. Front fenders, back fenders. So the front fenders are not going away, changing, adding, subtracting, anything like that. Interesting. Engine setup, we have standard. We have stage one, which is gonna bring us up to 315 horsepower, 398 and back down. So you'd almost have 400 horsepower in one of these, pretty insane. Similar customization options for this. However, we do have a design color as well, which is going to be your crane. Uh, obviously we have same versions back and forth between the um, WF Fast Track. Oh, that one says WF, but this one doesn't. This one says MB Fast Track. So made a little oopsie there. Uh, it's a Mercedes Benz, just probably jump on that if you can. Um, and then it looks like we have all the same fender options. So this one is removing the fender. So I must have selected a wheel that just kind of made it disappear. So you got all of that if you want, but that's not all. We also have the MRF logging blade. Now I will say uh, we kind of already have one. So this is just another one uh, that's part of the bond pack. You could choose this if you wish. I will say, hold on. Eh, they both got similar color options. Okay, so anyway, the red one's the one that comes with this pack. Uh, it's just a three-point logging blade at the end of the day. And we also get a custom version of the Stoll FZ30 front loader. This is gonna be bright neon green, so it should stand out to you guys in front loaders. Uh, and then you got all of the above color options. All of the above. Man, that gray looks good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Next up is a mod that I've been looking forward to for a little while, the Case IH Farmall 110A, 130A from Agritono. This is gonna have 118 horsepower, 195 liters of fuel, 26 miles per hour, so it's pretty quick. Rim colors, you have a silver, you have silver metallic, so it's just a little bit more base game gray metallic. You have a black, and then you have a black metallic. Just gonna go back to here, red color, black and red, so you got both of those design. We have black and red. I'm not sure what's that's changing. We'll find out. Reversible audible signal. So basically, yes, we have a headlamp uh, signal. You can add that. I assume that's gonna add like a beep, beep, beep kind of thing. Who knows? Wheel brands, we have Michelin tires. We have Michelin and Lizard tires. Uh, we just have Lizard tires. Four by two, four by four, or Michelin tires. So it looks like in the four by two, we just have some standard stuff. And then back to a Michelin tire. And here we have standard wheel weights, wides, wides with weights, um, <laughs> wide stance, wide stance with weights, chonkers with weights, duels with weights, and uh, back to standard. Yeah, yeah, yep, there you go. Michelin and Lizard, probably the same thing. I don't know, we get a couple different little things right through there. So if you go Michelin and Lizard, you're actually going to get your Michelin, uh, what the rice wheels, the wide ultra narrow tires i'm not sure what you would call those uh looks like we do have some rice tires in here choose what you would like through there and then in the four by two these are going to be michelin tires we have all the standard wide tires and rims and stuff like that that we did have before uh this is probably going to be a very popular setup right here actually do we have a chonker in the back yeah chonkers in the back let's go design we have cabin and gps we have no cabin that's right you have a medium-sized case tractor with no cabin and two wheel drive. This is the version right here. This is the setup I've been waiting on because this is probably the exact setup I'm gonna run. Uh, you got a couple different things through here. You can even do a uh, over cabin, things like that. Attachers, we have a 300, 600, 900 kilogram weight. And then we have a low hitch. Is it changing stuff up in the back? It is, so it's dropping that hitch down a little bit and you could do a couple different things. You could even rock a front hydraulic on here where you can run a low hitch in the back with a front hydraulic. That's a great, great thing. Interior glass, uh, well, we don't have a uh, thing on there. So you've got front uh, front loader, you can add those as well. Antennas, different things through there. Is that a, 
Is that a can? I mean, I'm sure that's not a Red Bull can, but it kind of looks like a Red Bull can on there, doesn't it? Uh, you've also got fenders as well. Looks a little funny with the two-wheel drive, but hey, what you gonna do? And then lastly, we have engine. We have the 110, which is 118 horsepower. And then we have the 130, which is gonna give you 132 horsepower. Exhaust, we got a couple different ones. You've even got this version right here, which I know is gonna be very, very popular. I'm gonna go and lease one of those because this is beautiful. Also for you case fans, LR Modding's got you covered with the vertical tillage 335. This is gonna be found at Cultivators. 250 horsepower is required, 9.4 meter working width at 12 miles an hour. LR Modding also does a killer job on literally everything they do. This is no different. If you are a case fan, if you are looking for a beautiful, beautiful cultivator to use on your farm, this is the one. Next up, we have the PBS Liquid Trailer. This is gonna hold 14,000 liters of water, slurry, digestate, uh, fertilizer, and herbicide. So your liquids through there. You got a couple different colors, green, red, blue, and yellow. And then we have a rim color as well. This is gonna change up between well, the same colors. Get out of there. Will Brands, we have Trailer Borg, Michelin Tires, back and forth between those, and that is it. It's kind of a eh looking trailer, to be fair, um, but hey, if you like it, it is here. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is the Old Shed. <laughs> we needed another one. Uh, it's an old shed. It's gonna cost three grand or four grand, depending on if you want uh, doors or not. Yep, it does look good though. We'll say details and designs. Very nice. Um, it is seasons ready as well. And your last mod today is Barn. 15 grand's gonna get you this. At least it's not Polish Barn, so we'll take that. You do have a couple, oh, I walked right through that, didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, you do have multiple different doors that open around the front, all three of them, and that's about it. <laughs> there you go, not a whole lot to this. It is nice if this is what you're looking for. Well, it is here. If you guys have been waiting on the TLX Phoenix, it is here. Funny enough, of I don't know if version 1.1 ever passed testing or not, uh, but this is version 1.2. I should know. I helped test this. Um, yeah, version 1.2 is already here. Um, Changelog 1.1 was fixed dynamic suspension behavior, uh, added special additions, including the CAT 3408 sounds. These are going to be only in these special editions right here. You are not gonna find these in any other one. These are the only ones with the CAT engine. Also added the Copperhead edition, which you can see right here. Silver Bullet, which you will need to change the main color to new silver for it to actually be the Silver Bullet, but you've got that. And then you have the Black Bell Edition. So those are gonna be copper, chrome, and blackout versions. Also, we've got a couple extra things that came with this. So I think it's in attachments through here. We've got a new version and a dump truck bed. That is right. So what you wanna do is you wanna select the TLX X2 setup and then this is what you would rock and roll right here. This is gonna hold 21,820 liters. It does match the X52 tipper. So if you were wanting to match that, this is gonna match perfectly for you. We got beacons on here and we also have a foldable animation there as well. But that doesn't stop there because if we jump into logistics, we've also got a few new things in here. We have the pub frame. So what you could do is you could take this, hook it up to the back of your Phoenix, hook up another one of those dump beds to it, and then boom, you're good to go. And if you're using the X52, now you have access to this, the TLX Dolly. This can be used to hook up all kinds of stuff together. Will Brands, we have a few different ones. We have the Phoenix, we have the TLX 9000. You got all the lug covers and stuff through there. Plus you even have Agro Tire. So you got all kinds of stuff through here to make it match literally whatever you want. A2 Studio, you are crazy. We've also got an update to the Reich RTWK200 AS700. Man, oh man, what a name. This is version 1.001. Fixed the wheel size, changed the wheel configuration name, added configuration prices, fixed the flickering decal, fixed the flying faces, and fixed the rim. Big update. Next is the Reich RT160. This is going to be version 1.001. Fix the texture issue and spring holder visibility. And your last update for all platforms today is going to be the small flatbed trailer with tipper and logging options. This is going to be changelog 1.001. Added a new gooseneck hitch frame as an additional customization, which costs you 2,500 bucks extra, and added the ability to adjust the gooseneck coupler height for different vehicles. So, 
let's take a look at that so we have flatbed through there all kinds of stuff good to good and then hitch configuration so we have flat frame flat frame with rear hitch does it put a rear hitch on here sure does gooseneck gooseneck with rear hitch and back to the flat frame so we do have this how cool is that so now you've got an option from the uh, a2 studio stuff or you can even run this not bad making our way into console only mods today we got one new and one update your new one is the k257 it's gonna have 240 horsepower it also has 330 liters of fuel 41 miles per hour colors well you got all kinds of old colors through there choose whatever you like rim color same thing through there you guys know what rim colors are and then design color let's change this up to pink so we can see what we're changing that is going to be all of your tanks and stuff we'll just change that back to standard real quick design we have standard we have guards you've also got a fire extinguisher added canisters and then all kinds of different versions through there a couple different engines we have the 257 which gives you 240 horsepower we have the b1 which also has 240 horsepower and so on and so forth however you get a 41 mile per hour and a 50 mile per hour difference through there and then we'll set up just got a couple different ones street off road mud head back to street included with this are two beds as well we have the 257 flatbed grain it's going to hold 20,000 liters of bulk crops so whatever you want through there you can make your main colors match design we have safety chain which goes across the inside and then a license plate got a couple different ones through there as well we'll stick that texas plate on there and then over here we also have the same bed but this is used to transport vehicles transport things things like that so this will not hold anything and your update's gonna be to the lizard 55 57 43 20 60 farmer hey oh this is gonna be version 1.002 new sounds new tires added a 600 horsepower engine added rear working lights and minor fixes and optimizations and your only new mod for pc and mac players day and your last mod today this is going to be the ural next 44202 now you're probably saying don't we have some ural stuff at gay already we do but it's all older stuff this is a little bit newer uh this is going to cost you forty five thousand eight hundred bucks 200 or no 312 horsepower a little bit extra i like that 390 liters of fuel so plenty there and then 49 miles per hour main color you got a couple different ones you got some of the same ones as well which is nice to see we'll set up so we've got a couple different ones through there for you depending on what you like and then engine setup so we have the 312 and a 600 horsepower engine gotta love it well guys that is gonna be it for today hope you enjoyed the mod video if you did make sure you drop a like on it get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel as far as it sits right now i do not have a third video set up for today so maybe we'll do something a little bit extra make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel let you guys know once i figure out what that's gonna be all right hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace